Praise the Lord. It's Brother Clinton once again. I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope that you're well today by the grace of God. I just have a short message for you. It's not necessarily pertaining to the Word of God right now, just something that was on my heart. And um, I was conversing with a brother um, just a little while ago, and he sent me a message yesterday to my email address, and he uses his telephone to communicate with me via text message to email. And the message that he sent me yesterday was just unintelligible. I had no idea what he was saying. So I had to tell him, brother, I don't know what you're saying. Can you please explain? And so he wrote me again today and he explained. And he explained that he was driving at the time and he was using voice text on his telephone. And so then I immediately understood why I didn't understand his first message. Um, voice text is a neat little function that we can use sometimes, but it doesn't. it's not very reliable and it doesn't always say what we want it to say. In fact, most of the time it doesn't say what we want it to say. And you can wind up saying some ridiculous or unintelligible things if you're not paying attention. So, um, but that's not really what I, what, uh, what I want to address. I do speak English. What I want to address is the issue of using your telephone while you're driving. And uh, like I said, this isn't necessarily a, a, an issue pertaining to the gospel of Jesus Christ, but it's something very important. When you are in a moving vehicle, you are a weapon. Okay, you are, you know, I, I forget the statistics, but when you're going 40 miles an hour and you take your eyes off of the road for two seconds, you have just traveled somewhere around 80 to 100 feet without even looking. And, you know, we, we as, a, as a society, we've become so comfortable in our cars that a lot of times we just imagine that we're like in our easy chair in the living room, but we're not. And we have to remember that when we're in a moving vehicle, when that vehicle is moving, it is heavy enough and it is going fast enough to kill people, including you. And so your phone, even though your phone may be in your car, your phone should never be in your hand. Your, your eyes should never be on your phone while you're in your car. I was a professional driver, so I can say this by experience, okay? I drove professionally for almost 10 years in the city of Phoenix. And when I drove, I had what we call a Bluetooth device in my ear. Okay, when my phone rang, I answered it like this, and I spoke on it, and I spoke on it long enough to do the business that I had to do because I was a, a professional driver, and I had to be able to communicate on the phone in order to do my job. But I didn't uh, stay on the phone and have personal conversations with people, and especially if someone was angry or if they wanted to argue with me, I'm not going to do that on the telephone while I'm driving. That's a no-no. That's completely unacceptable. Um, and that happened to me certain times when I was driving. Someone wanted to, to argue or or get upset with me and I would just have to say, look, I'm sorry, I can't have this conversation right now. I'm gonna to have to call you later and I would hang up. When you're driving a motor vehicle, you it's a very serious responsibility and you have to remember that, my brothers and my sisters and my friends out there. Your phone should have nothing to do with you while you're driving. At no point while your vehicle is moving should your phone ever be in your hand or should your eyes be ever be looking at your phone ever for a second while your car is moving. That's unacceptable. Okay, and I know that many people do that. When you, if you stand on the street corner and you watch people driving by, half the people have phones in their hands while they're driving. They're driving with one hand while their phone is in their other hand. That is asking for trouble. That is asking for trouble. It's asking for an accident. It's asking for injury. And so many people, when they get in an accident and they stumble out of their cars, you know, when the police arrive on the scene, the police ask them, like, well, were you on your phone? That's like the first question that the police are going to ask you because that's what most people are doing and it's really dangerous. It is against the law in most places, although most people don't really care because the police are not likely to stop you for being on your phone while you're driving. Although they can, but they're not likely to. But my brothers and my sisters, my friends, this is so very important. You know, I'm old and I remember, you know, I'm almost 54 years old and I remember when we used to have to wait till we got home to use the phone because the phone was attached to the wall in our house. You remember back in the days when we used to have to answer the phone to find out who was calling? Um, and today, everybody has you know, their, their device, on them, their, their cell phone, and I have one too, okay? But my phone is on my desk, and I use it for communication. It's not my master, it's my servant. And if I'm doing something, or if I'm sleeping, or if I go out for a walk or whatever, you know, I, I'm not chained to my phone. I can actually leave my phone and go out and actually do things and meet people and talk to people. And um, when you're driving, see, I don't have a car, so I don't drive But I, right now in Costa Rica. But when I was in the States, I did. And when you are driving in your car, I can't, I can't stress this enough. 
when you're in your car and your car is moving, your phone should not be in your hand at all, ever. If somebody, if you're in your car and somebody calls you, you should wait until you are pulled over in a parking spot, not at a stoplight, in a parking spot, in order to return that person's call. That person can wait. And if they can't wait and you're in a position like I was where I was a professional driver, then get yourself a little Bluetooth that you can stick in your ear and then you can answer the phone. Hello, this is, this is Brother Clinton. I'm driving. What can I do for you? And keep the conversation to a minimum and then hang up and concentrate on your driving. Because when you're driving, when you're in a motor vehicle and you're moving, you need both your hands and you need all of your attention on what you are doing. Because there are people in front of you. There are people behind you. There are people on either side of you. There are things that are happening above you. And if you're not paying attention, it is so very easy to get caught up in a split-second situation that is going to cost you your life or cost you someone else's life. And then how will you feel when you wake up in the morning knowing that you killed somebody's family or you killed somebody's children or you know that you terminated your own life all because of something stupid and you weren't paying attention when you were supposed to be? So my brothers, my sisters, my friends, please, I beseech you, when you're driving, do not have your phone in your hand. Do not have your phone in your hand. Whoever's calling, whoever's messaging you, whatever messages or alert, alerts you're getting, whatever, they can wait until you're parked. This is a message of love from your brother Clint. In Jesus' name, amen.